Hi there, so today we're going to learn on how you can get started using the VPS which you just purchased. Now inside your VPS welcome email, you should find your VPS username and password as well as the IP address of your VPS. Now you will also find a login link to your own Parallels Power Panel. Simply click on that link and you should see this login panel here and enter in your username and password which should be root and your initial password and click login now inside here as you can see on the left there are several functions available but you won't be using these functions too often because most of your daily um, website management tasks will be done through another control panel so on this particular control panel you will only be managing your virtual private server such as starting up the server stopping or shutting down the server restarting the server and updating basic um, server software or you can also do a server backup, a restore, basic things like that. Now we're going to cover all these simple functions together. Okay, let's start from the very top left. There's a change password function. So the first thing you have to do after receiving your VPS activation email you should immediately change your password I would highly recommend using a randomly generated password and don't use weak ones using like 5 to 10 characters but use a long password a good um, tool you can use is the random password generator I'm gonna open a new tab here and I'm gonna search on Google random password generator <sighs> to generate your password I would highly recommend using a random string generator so you will have a strong password don't use weak or short password that is easy to guess so that'll be the last thing you want to use so let's open up a new tab here and I'm going to search on Google for random string generator now we have the random.org on the top let's use this one generate just one string for our new password and each string should be 20 characters long so it won't be too short and I'm going to use numeric uppercase and lowercase as well and click get strings here is our new password I'm gonna copy this and then put it back here our new password paste it here and change it now that should take care of it now we should always put our password in a safe place so we can always log back in to this VPS power panel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and email myself this new password I'm gonna go to my gmail account Sorry about that, wrong password. 